What's up guys, it's your favorite haircut avoider here with a tutorial on single GPU pass through to a VM. Now you ask, why on earth would I want to do that? Well, I got a question for you. Are you tired of Windows and you want to switch to Linux because you think it'll make you a better programmer? Well, guess what? It doesn't, but you can still switch to Linux and use applications like SolidWorks, Adobe Premiere, and most Steam games. Now, Linux does support some Steam games, but Windows is where it's at. So if you're a gamer like me and you want to switch to Linux, I got the video for you right here. Now, let's go ahead and actually let's go over what this is going to be doing. So we're going to run a virtual machine of Windows and take our single GPU and pass it to that virtual machine. Okay. Now this is the poor man's version of uh, having two operating systems and I didn't want to dual boot because I didn't want to have to manage two different operating systems and make all the partitions. This is what works for me. Um, so we're going to be, I'm going to try my very best um, to uh, get this to run. I did it one time and I'm making this YouTube tutorial uh, to see if I strike lightning twice. So if you guys want to switch to Pop OS and have a Windows install with all your Steam games on it, Hopefully, this video will be your guide. Now, we are running on Pop OS 22.04. Um, and let me just, okay, here we go. Guys, if, if I block you, just uh, just let me know. Just kidding, I won't know. Okay, so here we are with a clean install of Pop OS. I haven't made any changes here. Okay, guys, so the first thing that we need to do is check uh, some settings in the BIOS before you even install uh, Pop OS. This tutorial is for Pop OS, but I will leave a link below for, um, it, you know, uh, arbitrary distros. These are all the changes that I have made to my BIOS. So check it out. Hey guys, welcome to the BIOS here with my fancy setup. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and go through a few settings here. So here, this is my gigabyte board. Um, we wanna go to tweaker and advanced and we wanna make sure we have this SVM mode. We wanna make sure that is enabled. This is going to allow us to do CPU uh, virt uh, virtualization. It's gonna allow us to run that VM stuff. And under here in settings, uh, you want to make sure that you have a setting called IOMMU. We want to make sure that is enabled. Um, if it's not called IOMMU, you might have an Intel CPU or something like that. It should be called like VT-I. Um, I'm not exactly sure. And also, you want to make sure you have Secure Boot disabled before, um, yeah, Secure Boot disabled before you even install Pop OS or any distro. So go ahead and go to C, uh, CSM support. If you don't see it on my Gigabyte board, I press disabled here and it will allow me to change the secure boot options. And uh, yeah, so that's disabled. And now you're ready to install uh, your favorite distro. All right, once you've made those changes, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start running some commands. So the first thing we need to do is enable IOMMU in our kernel boot options. So to change the boot parameters, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run this command sudo, and then kernel stud, I spelled kernel wrong, uh, stub and then we're gonna do dash a and in quotes here um, if you you want to do imd i o m m u equals on and if you're running intel you can just go in here and type intel i'm running an amd cpu so i'm gonna change that there i o m m u equals on uh, equals pt i think that stands for pass through and also this uh, weird little line here that you can just copy uh, this is my cheat sheet, guys. Uh, I will be posting maybe like a GitHub repo where you guys can also see that. So you want to go ahead and turn this option off. Okay, uh, so once that's installed, uh, you are going to actually have to reboot to see these changes. But um, you know what? I'm actually going to do that right now. So I'm going to reboot and come back. Okay, and we're back after the reboot. Um, so let's just go ahead and check if those changes were made. Um, with sudo cat slash proc slash command line. And we can see that our, our changes have been, uh, uh, that our system has been booted with these changes. Now, after that, um, let's just head to the um, pop shop since we're using pop OS. Um, <laughs> you just saw there that uh, I have installed virtual machine manager. And you wanna also make sure 
that you uh, downloaded a bunch of other things with uh, this command line right here. Yep, it's going to be in the or in the GitHub, whatever, whatever I decide to do. But you will find that command, uh, run it, make sure you got all your packages. That's all well and good. Uh, did I? Did we check groups yet? No. So uh, next, let's check our IOMMU groupings. So um, to do that, first thing we're going to do is sudo, and then we're going to uh, actually, no, we're not going to read that. We're going to read, we're going to list our PCI ports um, and pipe that into grep and look for the NVIDIA. And you can see right here, we have it all uh, squared away. The, the, these, the, this is um, everything that NVIDIA is found on. And we're going to need to pour all of these over into our virtual machine. So the next thing we're going to need to do <laughs> is go ahead and we're going to need to make a uh, IOMMU grouping finder searcher. There's no one command we can run. I've already created this script, but I'm going to make a new one for you. Let me just remove the one I have created. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and create a new script. Uh, so we're going to do sudo nano, whatever your favorite editor is. And uh, we're going to name this check script. Ah, check script.sh, preferably. And go ahead and head to this link. Uh, you'll find it in the description. I'm sure you know. And we're going to copy this into our script here. And we're going to make this an executable. Um, check script. Permissions denied. Sudo. All right. So after that, we're gonna want to run this. So check script, and you can see here, this is this is all the IOMMU groupings. Now the important thing to note here is group two, make sure that all of these, which are the same as this, our NVIDIA, are in the same group. They're all in the same group, um, which is right here. And there are uh, two more things here that are in the group, but you know, I think, I, I think that's fine. Uh, so if you see that, you're good, you're good to go. Also, another thing with the IOMMU is you could run this command right here, sudo d message grep IOMMU, and that's, I think, is gonna make sure that you have IOMMU running, or that it's working. Okay, so uh, once that's all done, you should be finished installing your virtual machine manager, and the command we ran prior should have made sure that you have all of the libvirt uh, things installed. So from this point on, it's going to get a little command heavy. So let's go ahead and uh, ch we're going to run this command sudo. And then I'm going to use gedit. It's going to help this part, make it a little bit easier. And we're going to go ahead and check the directory or the config file in etc libvirt libvirtd.conf. And it's going to open up this window. It's called gedit. And we're going to look for a few things. The first thing is socket libvirt uh, this one right here, and we're going to uh, Unix sock group libvirt. Uh, we're going to want to go ahead and uncomment that. And a few short lines down here is going to be the um, the Unix sock RW perms 0770. Go ahead and uncomment that. And we want to scroll all the way down and add a few lines that are going to go ahead and help us with logging. And those are these two as follows. Uh, it's not mandatory, but you know, uh, it helps. Let's delete these so it's not yellow. There, go ahead, comment them in, or uh, put them in. Good, so once that's done, save, that's clear. And now we have to go ahead and add a lot of permissions. Um, so if you um, get lost in anywhere at this part, uh, please check the description below for a better tutorial, <laughs> but this is just me uh, going over it from scratch. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start running all these. So this is gonna give user mod, uh, or I guess libvert, I'm not even sure. This is basically, uh, we need to start libvert. This is basically like giving us permissions to change all the socket stuff. Uh, and we can go ahead and check the groups with this command. Perfect. After that, you want to go ahead and uh, check the uh, the the Q QEMU config file here. Um, sudo and let's just go into gedit etc libvirt uh, qconfig, 
and let's look into here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, change these two things right here. Um, user, and we wanna change this from root to whatever you named yourself. I name myself Fank because I think I'm funny. Um, and we also wanna uncomment it, I believe. Um, and then let's find the group here. Oops. Group, <laughs> I just copied it and then, all right. Uncomment it and we wanna name the group Fank. That's what I named my user. You can check what user you are by uh, just looking at your terminal. See, that's my name. Um, and now we want to uh, exit this. We have made the changes that we wanted to. And we want to uh, restart our libvert from here. Go ahead and clear this out. Those changes should have been made. And uh, now we're just gonna add some groups here. Um, and if you're curious about what this who am I thing is doing, uh, is it's, uh, it's asking Linux, who are you? And in this case, it's Fank. So that's why we changed all those roots to Fank. We just checked our group here. Looks good to me. And now we wanna make sure that uh, our network is all good here, that it's auto start. Um, and this one is gonna say that we've already started. Yeah, because it's already started. Good, so just run these commands. Doesn't matter, I'll just do it. <laughs> uh, and now we want to uh, start setting up our VM. So go ahead and uh, you wanna open the link down below and do this vert io .win .iso or whatever. There's no dots there, but you wanna open the vert io win iso and you wanna get the uh, Windows 10 iso. Um, after that, we're gonna go ahead and go into our virtual machine manager, open this up and um, let's give a quick reboot real quick just to make sure that all of our changes have uh, been submitted okay so after the reboot let's go ahead and try to make a new virtual machine so op open up virtual machine manager and now that you've downloaded your iso uh, you want to go ahead and choose your windows 10 iso I'm not gonna touch any of these things here. That's gonna be okay. Go ahead and click Customize Configuration Before Install and make sure that you're named Win10. Go ahead and click okay. And you wanna change a few things here. Make, this, make sure this is Q35. Make sure this is UEFI. And you wanna apply them. Let's just go ahead and check. Make sure you're hosting. I'm gonna leave everything pretty much stock here. Um, uh, you want to change this to uh, VIR, that one. <laughs> uh, click apply. Uh, let's, keep, let's keep looking down here. All good, all good. All right, so we're also going to want to go to storage, and we're going to add our VFIO drivers here, which I had you install before. Uh, you want to make sure that this is a ROM disk or whatever, CD-ROM. And you also want to make sure the cache mode is on right through. Go ahead and click finish. It's gonna install. Click begin installation. And your VM is going to start installing. Press some keys on there before it <laughs> goes away. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger. And you're just gonna go ahead and set up your Windows 10 uh, just like normal. So next, install now. Uh, this is going to take a while and I have some homework to do so I'm going to do this, these at the same time. Um, but you're gonna have to click uh, I don't have a product key and since we set our network to VFIO or whatever uh, we set it to it's going to uh, Only connect to the internet when the VFIO drivers are installed which we will install once uh, Windows 10 has been launched. So go ahead and we want to do custom installation We'll select this disk And it will um, install itself. So this will take a while Let it run so when you get here, um, you don't have any internet yet. Uh, you wanna start with limited access or whatever, and you wanna name your account. Okay, when you get here, um, I like to turn everything off so nothing gets sent back to Microsoft, but that's okay. Uh, you don't wanna set up Cortana right now. Okay, so uh, once you get here, 
we're just going to go ahead and go to File Explorer, drop down this PC, and we're going to want to look for this Fort IO driver right here and install it. So we'll just go through this. Next, install. Yes, sir. And after this, the uh, the internet is going to pop up. Uh, just press no. Finish, and should be good. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and shut this down. And we're gonna come into the settings here, and we're gonna change a few things. Okay, so the things that we need to change is we have to change this into uh, VNC because um, if this doesn't work we won't have access to our graphics card so it's gonna be a bit of a hassle and uh, one thing that I didn't change was this one right here um, you can go ahead and I think you can remove it maybe you can't remove it we're just gonna set this to none uh, make sure it's set to none and let's look uh, check the rest of our settings real quick um, CPU is fine. This is fine. Uh, we can we can delete our driver here, by the way, and I believe we can uh, remove our boot drive here, um, leaving us with just uh, our main operating system. Let's continue down. Make sure that's VNC, and we need all um, all interfaces. Whoa! And let's keep going down here. Uh, looks 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 good to me. Uh, we're also going to want to pass through um, uh, my mouse, our mouses and stuff. I'm not, I don't even, USB mouse. Looks good. Okay, so now we're going to press add, go to PCI device, and we want to add, start adding um, everything in this seven group here. And we want to make sure that we add all of it. If you only have two, only add the two, but we, I have four, so we want to add all four. All right, now we're going to need to uh, set up some hooks here. Okay, so now let's get started with the hooks. And what that's going to do is take the GPU, detach it from Linux, and then reattach it when the VM launches. So we're going to go ahead and head to this GitHub repository, and we're going to go ahead and clone. Um, links in description, everybody. Links in description. Uh, Git clone. Perfect. I'm going to move you. Let's see. We want to CD into uh, uh, the repo that we just installed. And we're going to go ahead and bin bash this script here. Or we're just going to run it. Those dot slash install hooks. Now uh, we've got to run it with sudo. Um, enter your password and it's just going to move a bunch of files around for you. Now, an important thing to note here is the structure that it is using. It is not like how um, uh, when you look up how to set up hooks, um, the hooks are, I'll show you where they're normally located. So if we look, uh, let's clear this out. So normally your hooks are going to be, I'll, I'll show you the structure. So let's just, uh, let's just dig in. Uh, CD etc I cannot type libvert <laughs> oh my lord um, and under hooks uh, let's see what's in here the file q e m u uh, we're just going to shoot nano uh, into this file here and you can see what it's doing is it's looking for our virtual machine that we named windows win 10 and it's going to uh, do, run the setup scripts in this directory, which is bin vfio startup. So it's important to note because normally we would set up a qemu.d directory in our hooks directory and then stem on a bunch of them. And uh, that's just not how this script is, is going to work. So don't be confused. So we can even see the startup script if we need to tweak it. So let's go ahead and go into that directory with cd bin and then uh, start. Uh, let's go back and I forgot the directory already. Um, so it's bin vfio.startup. Okay. Uh, please leave this. Um, so we're just going to do sudo nano um, slash bin slash vfio vfio dash startup dash sh. 
and this is the script that um, uh, is going to basically just check our display manager it's gonna check what pins that our GPU is on and it's just gonna disable all the drivers and all of that detach the GPU it's gonna go ahead and check a bunch of things for you now let's look up the teardown or I guess the startup so this is that's not the startup this is going to start your Linux computer back up um, so this is basically just going to reinstall all of those drivers and uh, what we're gonna do is I think we're just gonna run it okay guys so one more thing to note before we uh, try and run our VM we're gonna want to start an SSH session so that our computer uh, is still accessible uh, because our graphics driver is going to be detached and we're gonna want to reattach it and or close out the VM uh, or connect to our virtual machine whatever have you uh, that's not a saying but we're gonna gonna want to go ahead and install an SSH uh, first because it, Pop OS I guess doesn't have it installed so uh, I think the command sudo apt install SSH uh, that's not how you spell it uh, go ahead press enter and that's going to an in install and when that's done we're just gonna run sudo uh, system control uh, start SSH and there you go uh, and also you're gonna want to note your IP address so go ahead and run the command if config that's if config and you're gonna want to go ahead and mark down one of these addresses I don't know which one does it I just try every single one I think it's this one. I think it's this one right here because okay I'm just gonna mark that down and uh, try to SSH before I start okay so we're gonna go into our command line and we're going to use the SSH command this is on Windows if you couldn't tell and we're gonna type our username at and then the IP address Ah shucks okay then type your IP address and make sure both of your computers are on the same network it's gonna ask us for a password and great now we're going to uh, try and run our startup script which should disconnect the GPU and we should should see a black screen so let's just uh, go into slash bin and our script is right in here and the script is called uh, we're gonna do sudo dot slash V F I O dash um, startup and this is the, the startup script I'm just going to pull out my phone and take a video so here's the command and you press enter and pass I gotta put in the password one second so I put in the password and boom uh, it, it stops running and if we just run what happens when the when the VM uh, so now I'm gonna run the command when the VM gets uh, destroyed it it should boot back up perfect all right okay welcome back so now that we know our scripts are working and they're good we're actually just going to bolster the walls let's just run it let's see what happens um now my obs is probably not going to keep up with what it is so i am going to switch to my phone again Okay, quick note, uh, before I run this VM, I actually just added these two USB devices, which, is, which are my keyboard and mouse. I just want to add hardware, USB host device, and selected my mouse and my keyboard. Um, that, oh, actually, I think it's this one I need to add. Um, okay, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just do both. Um, now, I should press go, and it should run. Okay, well, my graphics uh, detached itself from Linux, and hopefully... It attaches to Windows, hopefully. There we go. It took a minute there. But I think my graphics card uh, has mounted itself to Windows, Windows, which is like super exciting. I cannot believe this worked. Oh, and look, my mouse is working. And I could just type in my password. There we go. And as soon as it... Now... Wait, let's let's see it. Let's see it go through. There we go, everybody. Now we have Windows 10 on a virtual machine running on Linux. Oh wow, isn't that just amazing? Let's see what happens when we go to shut down.
So uh, as soon as we shut down, it should um, just go right back um, to our Linux machine. <clears throat> there we go, back in our login screen. And there we are in Pop! OS, everybody. Wow, I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> well, now you know how to get near-perfect performance from your GPU on a Windows machine running in a virtual machine on Linux. There you go. Nothing's stopping you. What's stopping you? Switch to Linux. Be the nerd. Be the nerd you want to be. That's my advice. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Uh, do all of the things. And um, I... We'll probably not post for a long time, okay? Well, but but, but they, thanks thanks for watching anyways. Thanks for watching anyways. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, make sure to, like, put more RAM, put more CPU cores, and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to end up doing uh, CPU pinning, so uh, that's in the future, though. All you got to do is edit your hooks. You should be good. Wow. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.